<clears throat> Hi guys, uh, really wanted to be on this one with you for the Acolyte. Um, sorry I can't be there, but I have to work. Um, uh, very briefly, uh, it's no secret, I thought it was crap. It's one of the worst things I've ever seen. The writing is, is some of the worst and the acting is some of the absolute worst ever put on film. It just, I, 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 I don't understand what they spent $180 million on. Yeah, it sure as hell weren't acting classes and decent actors or decent writers. It's, it's just madness. Um, the, 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 the woman who plays the two girls um, has this same thing, the, the same problem with Burnham, which is she seems to think that, 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 that she could just be deep, meaningful just by being sad and a bit teary all the time. It makes her a really profound actress, and it doesn't. It just makes you boring and crap. Um, most of the supporting cast were rubbish. Uh, the guy from Squid Game. They they did this thing, I remember I saying to you, they did this thing with Ahsoka, where they would have her gaze off into the distance and, and, and talk really slowly while she said stuff. So it made, the, the, the they thought it would make the stuff she was saying with the really boring crap sound deep and meaningful and profound and it didn't it just made her seem stupid in this it's like the whole if i say it in an oriental accent it doesn't matter what crap i'm driveling out because i said it in an oriental accent i sound like fucking miyagi's older brother and everything is deep and meaningful absolute rubbish um one of the things that really got me early on i think it's even in the first episode is she escapes from the ship. So the other people, they, 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 they escape on the escape thing and they leave her on the ship. So we see her stranded on the ship. The ship goes down, crashes on the planet. She wakes up, goes outside. It's all snowing. She has a deep vision. And then she sees the Jedi ship landing. So that whole process from them, the, the other guys leaving the ship to her having that vision and, and the length of the vision cannot possibly have been more than an hour. In, in her lifespan. Yet within that hour, the other guys that have escaped have escaped, travelled around, been captured by the Jedi, taken back to Coruscant, interrogated, because that's even if they gave up their shit straight away, they, they probably, you know, it, it, it's going to be meaningful. She's then contacted the other guy, who's then travelled to go and get her, got his team together, travelled all the way to the planet where she is, and landed just in time for the end of her vision. That's it. So that whole that whole process from them escaping to the Jedi turning up on the planet took the same hour that she that it took her to crash land and have her vision. I, again, that's that's when I knew the writing was rubbish because the, the writers just don't understand time scales. They don't understand what they're writing. They don't understand fucking anything really. To be brutally honest, they just they just write and drivel. Oh, this all look good. Mm, oh, this all look good. Oh, this all look good. No structure, no intelligence, no logic to fucking anything they've done. Um, I thought it perked up a bit in the third episode when we got the flashback, only because I thought it was going to answer a long answered question of what happens when you refuse to let the Jedi take one of your kids and they, they kept telling us in this and this is again where the writing was shit they kept telling us oh we don't force to take your kids we don't force that and then later on you find out they do but then they don't really because they had to hide the fact they did it from the jedi nothing made sense nothing made sense about the whole entire ensemble of it um the Jedi fights, people have been online going on about how good... These Jedi fights are rubbish. They are some of the worst choreographed sword fighting crap ever put on film. The, the, again, I've said this before, go back to the fan films that were being made back in the, in the, in the sort of the 90s and all that. Um, when the guy first came out with the rotoscoping method to do the lightsaber and all that. These choreographed fights were insanely good. They were brilliant. This crap here, I, jumping up and down and dancing and spinning your lightsaber and all that, I guarantee you, well, I don't guarantee you because I'm no sword fighter, but I'm pretty certain that just gets you dead. You know, if you go up against a guy and you've got your sword and he's there waving and spinning it behind you, they, 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 they call it the Anakin maneuver, the Anakin maneuver, which is to spin it and then go back behind your back and then bring it out again. It's called the Anakin maneuver. Now, if you're a long distance off from your guy and you're doing it to show off and look imposing, not a problem. But you're close enough next to a guy and you do something like that. He's just going to take advantage and stab you in the stomach while you're doing it. There's no way that that is a standard move to do. The, 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 the nonsense of the, of the big reveal of who the villain is. It's like you have an idiot villain in, in, in the thing posing as a, as a junk shop man. And then have him travel to the planet for no reason whatsoever. 
and yet we're suddenly supposed to not realize that he is the bad guy and then his and then his great his great you would call me sith really you, you had a lightsaber in the first a red lightsaber in the first fucking episode is that such a big thing oh my god he's sith oh really Red lightsaber, first episode, we all knew that was coming. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. There, there is nothing at all about this entire episode or this entire series that, that was written with any kind of logic, intelligence or sense. It's one of the worst series ever made. Um, it's probably the worst of all the all the styles. A lot of people have been comparing it to Andor. And I'm not entirely sure why, other than it's a Star Wars series, um, and or was a completely different feel, a completely different feeling. It was boring as fuck as well, to be honest, but um, slightly better than this was, if I'm honest. Um, but it's, it's, it's all nonsense. I guarantee, well, I don't guarantee, but I can only imagine that the people who write these shows, they, they put all these different tropes in the thing. Oh, we need good night, shape of battles, put that in the bowl. Oh, we need a, a twist reveal. Put that in a bowl. Oh, we need, and they just fill up this bowl with this crap. And then they come along and they shake it and they take out. They go, okay, episode one, we want this, this, and this. Okay, there's our three big wow moments. Um, how are we going to connect them all together into a story? And they're all going, fuck no, let's give it to the tea boy and let him fucking do it. One going down the pub. So the guy's over there making coffee for everybody. They throw these tropes at him and go, let yeah, but make some sort of nonsense about that. And then... And then somebody, and it's all just disjointed. It's 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 crap. It really is nonsense. I I can't believe that there aren't better writers out there. I mean, there must be. There must still be decent writers who can write decent stuff, and not just these nonsense schoolboy idiots that they just. Uh, you know, it feels like primary school kids running around in 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 you know with their little sticks and, or make believe swords and going. Oh, I've hit you. No, 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 but I blocked you. Oh, I did the magic thing there to do you. No, 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 but I blocked you there. No, no, you can't do that. I can because I'm... That's that's what we're seeing. That's what we're seeing. People who never grew up that just have that same stupid attitude to what they do. And it's just it's just insane that that we've, we've come on so far. The special effects are brilliant. We've got the special effects are great. The sets were great, etc. But every other aspect of it let us down. We had better writing in the 50s of sci-fi shows to be fair this is just they need to give up they need if this is the best they can churn out they need to stop making stuff they really do because it's just fucking awful and i don't i honestly don't understand the logic of anyone who sits i mean everybody's entitled to like what they like but when i see people on on, on the, the fan groups are going oh i don't understand all oh, you haters it's a brilliant show what a, i'm not a hater because i don't like it i don't like it not because it's crap it's, it's badly written you can't force me to like it you can't say oh if you don't like it you're not a star wars fan i don't have to suck the fucking dick of everything that's got a star wars label on it if it's crap it's crap and i'll say it's crap that doesn't make me a hater if I'm honest, it makes you a bit of a fucking moron for, for accepting this crap. Because as long as you keep accepting this crap... Sorry, I'm at work. I'm just going to do stuff for people. If, if if you keep accepting this crap, that's all they'll ever churn out. They won't they won't ever make anything decent. They will never improve upon themselves. They will never, they will never go that extra mile simply because there's enough of you accepting this this shit that they're driven... This drill that they're coming out. It's why, why, why put any more effort into it, you know... If, if people will accept a, a shit in the middle of a street, then why build a fucking beautiful fountain and let people just look at the shit? It, it's all they've got. So the series is, is absolutely, I'll give it a 2 out of 10. A 2 out of 10 because the sets were quite good. And Carrie Ann Moss's character was, was, was pretty good. Um, what we saw of her. <laughs> uh, Jedi Wookiee. Jedi Wookiee. Let's bring a Jedi Wookiee in and then not have him really do anything. That kind of possessed lightsaber scene was, was again, just horseshit. It was, it was really bad. And I, I don't get this need to bring the Jedi down. Um, this need to make them seem more evil and, and all of that. I don't really understand why they're trying to do that. The, you know, I understand that there were bad people in the Jedi. They're all human. Well, you know, human in the in the in the way they act, kind of sense. You know that they have flaws and what have you. Not that they're human species, but they. Um, I don't see why we need to bring them down. Phantom Menace, um, or, or you know, the, the the prequel trilogies, did enough of a job of showing them as flawed people and the, the fact that and kind of presenting the Sith guy there, Sidious, as not being completely evil, but just 
having a different viewpoint to the Jedi. I mean, they make him like really evil later on, but he had a different viewpoint, and that's why he brings them down. But I don't see this this kind of ongoing trope now where we have to make the Jedi seem like the worst possible fucking people in the galaxy. So at this point, I don't know, are we supposed to be cheering the fact that they keep getting, you know, that they get brought down, that they get wiped out, that Anakin does them all in? Is, is that the idea behind it? Um, as I've said on, on, the, on the pod before, Disney lightsabers can't do anything anymore. They can't kill people. They don't, you know, they don't really do anything anymore. So they're, they're, they're not the, the weapon they used to be. Um, the various different colours, I don't really know. The hollow whip, the hollow water, or the, the, the lightsaber whip thing. What a pile of shit that was. I understand it apparently it's been, in, it's been in the comics before, but that doesn't make it acceptable to, to present it as something decent. It was it was crap. And we only got to see that quick thing with it, and, and, and that's it. Then we... um. They then take on, the, 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 you know, they, they make this guy to be really sinister, evil and bad. And then they make him a not bad character. They make him a not bad character. He's all kind of just profound and not really evil and not really... But crap. Um, that can be done. You can make uh, the audience, um, uh, not if not side with the villain, understand where the villain's coming from. Wilson, Wilson Fisk in Daredevil is is a master class on how to do that with a villain, how to make it the audience understand that while this guy is an absolute piece of shit, you can understand why he is. There is empathy for why he is the way he is. And they try to do that with this idiot here and it just it just doesn't come off and the twins swapping sides and all that bollocks and then oh, we've done something really evil and then we've, we've gone in. I mean the guy who put himself in that bubble thing didn't really do fuck all I don't, I don't know why he had such massive guilt he didn't do anything um, it was only really really the, 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 the Chinese guy that killed the woman's mum for absolutely no reason whatsoever um she turned started to turn into smoke and all that so he stabs her with a lightsaber I mean really um the opening, the the very opening fight sequence was nonsense as well with Carrie Ann Moss. We're supposed to believe this woman is a Jedi Master. Not a fully qualified Jedi Knight, but a Jedi Master. With a lightsaber, yet idiot takes her down with a knife. With a knife. We've seen what Jedi can do in terms of Jedi reflexes and, and using the Force to knock stuff away and taking shit. Now, you can stop, like, the laser fire with your lightsaber. But you cannot stop a woman who's just throwing a knife at you. <laughs> Come on. Come on, we're supposed to follow... The, we're supposed to feed on this shit? It's just... I don't know. It, it, two out of ten for the series. As I said, I would love to discuss it with you all, or with you both in, in person, and um, run some stuff back and forth. I was really hoping to. Ironically, I'm, off, I'm on holiday from Friday for the next four weeks, so uh, I had plenty of time. But alas, you decided to record today, so there's not a lot I can do. Um, but hey ho, uh, I shall speak to you as soon as, but the, the Akashite, absolute rubbish.